Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's Wednesday, October the 9th, and I hope your day is blessed. Well, I'm pleased to be standing here with Brandon Dirks, our Minister of Missions and Outreach here at Providence United Methodist Church, and you've had a lot going on lately, haven't you? A few things. Yeah. Well, we continue to uh, keep in our prayers those who have suffered because of the Hurricane uh, Helene and the greater Asheville area, and actually far beyond that. And uh, that's right here in our conference, the Western North Carolina Conference. So there's been a lot of focus on this, and there will be for some time to come. But Brandon has some really important information to share with us today as far as that's concerned. Yeah, I think the first thing I'd like to say is just a huge, huge thank you to this congregation for the overwhelming response in your financial donations, in your in-kind donations. Uh, it, immediately, basically, as soon as this thing uh, started, um, this is one of the things that makes this church really special is this commitment to mission here at Providence. I wanted to take a minute just to say that we're going to continue our response uh, in a cut in several ways. One is we now have a new um, disaster relief coordinator uh, that is going to help with a lot of the logistics. So if you want to volunteer to help with our supply chain, if you to help volunteer or you have ideas, go through her, it's Melanie Trotter. Uh, you can find out how to contact her through our new communication method that we're going to be doing once a week on Tuesdays. We're going to update the congregation on what we are doing as a church in this uh, hurricane relief efforts and how you can be involved. So make sure you're looking for those emails on Tuesdays and links to those emails in our new e-news on Friday. Uh, still, the number one way to be of most significant help is to donate to the Disaster Relief Fund. 100%, uh, I want to assure you that 100% of all donations goes to provide relief to those who are suffering in our conference in the Western North Carolina mountains. Uh, there will be many, many opportunities, like you said, Randy, that this is a long-term effort. There's going to be many opportunities coming for us to be physically involved with sending work teams and uh, restoration teams. But right now, they're still in rescue and recovery uh, of that area. And so we are following the leadership of the conference. So each week, we're going to update you on what the conference is asking of us to do. Yeah, that's very helpful. And to underscore, we're so grateful that Melanie Trotter is stepping up to be the disaster relief coordinator. And, and to underscore what Brandon just said as far as contacting her, there's a special email that's been set up, an email address for her for this purpose. So please, if you've got inquiries to her, please use that email rather than her general one. We don't want to flood her email box with all of the stuff from the church as well. So, um, Brandon, we thank you for all the leadership you've already shown in this regard and for all who have, who have given. Uh, and led, we want to celebrate uh, um, the Kurt and uh, Angie Seifert and their effort last week with the truck that went up. And um, again, there's lots that's going to be going on in the weeks ahead. So in months ahead, quite frankly, we would anticipate. So please, if you have questions, of course, Brandon is here to be able to answer those. Look for those regular communications uh, from our office as far as disaster relief is concerned. We've got one other thing that's coming up, and that is, of course, the Rise Against Hunger event at the end of this month. And I, I think you have some important information regarding that as well, don't you? Yeah, uh, what's really exciting about Rise Against Hunger is it is responsive uh, to the needs around the world, needs of the hungry. This comes at a perfect time as we're talking about flood relief and people who are uh, in need of basics and things like that. So we're doing a food packaging event on October the 27th. We're going to try to do more meals than we have done lately, and that requires signs. Uh, we will take people walking in, but it helps us to gauge how many meals we can prepare for if you would actually sign them. So if you can come and give you know, a, an hour or two on Sunday, October 27th, after the services, uh, and help us reach our goal of 20,000 meals. It's a fun, exciting way. If you've never done it, it's perfect for families. It's perfect for anybody of any age uh, to participate in. So please uh, register. 
And if you're looking for the way to do that, the easiest way is our weekly newsletter, Providence This Week, um, and there will be an article regarding the Rise Against Hunger event. There will be a link there for you to click. So please look in the newsletter for, for that registration opportunity. Brandon, thanks so much for, for all you're doing. And again, we continue to keep in our prayers uh, all those who are being affected by Hurricane Helene and, and this day, uh, the people of Florida who anticipate Hurricane Milton uh, coming upon them. We lift them up in our prayers as well. May God bless you the remainder of this day.